Hey everyone! All right, today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. And I'm looking at our pattern, it goes ladybug, ladybug, flower, flower, butterfly, butterfly, ladybug. So what do you think will happen tomorrow? I think it's gonna be a ladybug because it's kind of like a pattern that goes, it goes A, A, B, B, C, C. And if it starts over, it'll go a, A, which would be Ladybug, Ladybug. Awesome. And we have been in school today for 160 days. So we, um, I added a new straw in and um, that made it so that there were 10 in there. But we can't have 10 in there, huh? Because there's not enough space to write 10. So I made it a bundle. I moved it over. I changed this to a zero and I changed this to a six because there are now six groups of 10 in there. Um, and one group of 100, one, yeah, one group of 100, which makes 160. Okay, um, today for circle time, I want you guys to practice the team number rap song. You know the one that goes, 11 is a one and a one, 12 is a one and a two. So um, remember I recorded a video for you and I will put it um, today with the assignment, but um, we are going to have kind of a program where we're going to practice that we're gonna perform that song kinda, okay? So I want you to practice again before we have our program, okay? Awesome. So, um, guys, I am so excited about something. So um, we are about to start a new science unit. And this science unit is my favorite because it talks about one of my favorite things in the whole world. Our science unit is going to talk about animals. <gasps> excited. Um, so I brought an animal to help us today. Um, our animal um, carries, I'm going to see if you can guess what it is. So our animal carries its house on its back and our animal has eyes that stick out and our animal's kind of slimy on the bottom. Do you know what it is? I have one right here. It's a snail! Can you see our little snail in there? Oh man, guys, I don't know if I can show you. Oh, there it is, you see? So our snail's kinda coming out, but he's being kind of shy. Anyways, so um, our first animal we're going to talk about is snails. I will keep showing you him if he comes out, okay? I'm just gonna sit him on here for a second. Okay, so um, we're gonna learn about snails as our first animal. Do you guys have any snails at your house? You wanna know where I found my snail? I found him on my bedroom window. He was just climbing on the window. And um, yeah, so I stole him and I put him in a cup so I could show you. <laughs> I'll send him for you to leave a little bit later. Okay, our story today, we're going to talk about water and land snails. So this is one of those, um, our science book is called Animals Two by Two. And um, I went to the table of contents. So you know how sometimes books have more than one book inside of it? Well, this book is one of those. So I went to the table of contents and it tells me what books are in here. So I went all the way to where it says water and land snails. And it says that it's on page 20. Sorry, it's upside down. I went to the page number that it's on, <laughs> uh, which is 29. And there it is. So this is our story. Um, I have some questions already. So it says water and land snails. So our little friend, oh, he's coming out. Oh, I scared him again. Oh, there's some water in there. Oh, do you see his eye? <gasps> he's looking at you. Okay, our little friend, do you think he's a water or land snail? What do you think? Hmm, I have some questions about that. So we're gonna read the story and then maybe we can decide if it's a water or land snail. Oh, he's coming out. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm gonna gently set him back down. I really hope he doesn't get loose in my room and get stuck in my bed. Hmm, guys, he's really coming out. Hold on, I gotta show you. He wants to come out and hear the story too. Okay, little guy. Let's read our story so we can learn some more about snails and we can figure out if it's a land snail or water snail. It says, snails are animals. Where do you find snails? 
Some snails live in water. They live in fresh water or salt water. Some snails live on land in moist places. What do you think the word moist means? Moist means kind of wet. So um, I gave this little guy some water. I, I squirted some water in here. Oh, do you see him sticking? <laughs> I squirted some water in there and then he came out to play. So he really likes water. So moist means kind of wet with water. A garden is one place for land snails. Snails have a shell and a foot. Can you see the shell? You see it? Right here. Can you see the foot? I don't see any feet. Do you see any feet like ours? No, their foot is different than ours. It's not like, it's not like this. Not like that type of foot. This is called a foot right here. Um, the foot helps the snail move. Like our little guy, he's moving. Oh my goodness. All snails have a mouth. Snails scrape food into their mouth. Snails also have tentacles. Look on the snail's head. Do you see the tentacles? What do you think the tentacles are in that picture? The tentacles are what its eyes are on. The tentacles sense food, air, and light. What else do tentacles sense? Um, oh, so I can answer the question. <laughs> I don't know what else they sense. So they sense food, air, and light. Maybe they also sense that there's a lot of water or what the weather's like, or if there's a predator, somebody that's going to eat them. How are these snails the same? How are they different? Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, see how this is another book. So remember how I told you this book has lots of books in it? We're not talking about worms. We're talking about this side. Okay, so how are these snails the same and how are they different? Hmm. Well, I notice that these ones are on land. And I notice that these ones look like they're underwater. I also notice differences about their shells. Do you notice how their shells are different? These shells are kind of spirally. Um, and this shell is kind of long, kind of like a cone. So that's kind of different. So um, there are snails that live on land. So our little guy, this one is a land snail because it lives on the land. But there are some snails that live underwater. So these ones live their whole lives underwater and they never really come out. So um, that's kind of the difference between them, okay? Awesome, so they're a little bit the same, a little bit different. <clears throat> okay guys, so we get to do something so much fun for science today. So um, there are snails all around and we get to have snails as pets. Okay, this is kind of tricky because we were gonna do this at school and we were gonna have the snails at school as pets. And maybe your parents don't want you to have a pet snail. If your parents don't want you to have a pet snail, guess what? They're the boss. If they don't want you to have one, then you can't have one and you'll just have to watch mine, okay? But if your parents are okay with it, we're going to make a pet snail home and then have a pet snail for a while so that we can um, observe them, which means watch them, okay? Um, okay, so your first step today is to build a home for a snail. What are some things you think a snail might need? Um, well, you need a container for them, right? Like <laughs> this snail probably, well, I could have it on my hand, but I really don't want to because he's kind of slimy. Um, and also, I might get bored holding him. So you need some sort of container to hold the snail. Um, also, snails, if you didn't know this, snails can climb. So this little guy could climb up and out and then get set free. So you need to have a container with a lid. But snails are animals and snails breathe air just like us. So they need to be able to breathe air. So when you have the lid on it, you're gonna need to poke some holes in it, okay? You might have to have your parents help you, okay? 
Um, what else do you think a snail might need to live? Well, we learn in our book that snails like moist places. So I have a squirt bottle and I just squirt it inside because he likes it when it's wet. So they like it to be a little bit wet, but remember they're not water snails. So they don't want it to be like filled with water. They just want a little bit of water on the outside. Okay. Also, this little guy probably would like some dirt because in real life they live in dirt. So you're going to want to put some dirt in there. Um, let's see. If they live usually in a garden, what else do you think they would like in their home? I think that they might like some plants or maybe some sticks inside of there, huh? Also, we're going to have them for a few days, so we should probably have a bigger container. This one's probably too small. I just got this because it's the first one I could find, okay? So I found a video on YouTube that shows you how to make a snail home. And um, you don't have to do it exactly like them, but it's a good example. So today, you are going to make a snail home, if it's okay with your parents. And um, I am going to make one too. I'm so excited because this little snail needs a better home than this one. So I'm going to make a better one today. And I will show you a picture of my snail home tomorrow, okay? Now, we don't have to put snails in it yet because that's part of tomorrow science. But if you want to, you could put a snail in it if you can find one, okay? But we're gonna do that part tomorrow, unless you wanna do it today. <laughs> okay, so today what you're doing is you're making a snail home so it can all be ready when we do find snails, okay? Now remember, you have to ask your parents if it's okay, okay? Because your parents are the boss and if they say no, then it's okay. You can just watch mine, okay? Awesome, guys, that's gonna be so much fun. I am so excited to learn more about snails. Okay, so today you are going to do that for science and um, you're going to learn a sight word. So the sight word today is he. So yesterday you learned the word she. This word is he. This one is about boys. So like our snail, I could say he is so cute or he is slimy or he is going to get out and scare me. <laughs> um. Let's see. Also for today, you're going to do math. In math, you're going to talk about what greater and less means. So like with my cubes, um, can you point to which one is greater? This one's greater because it has more. Can you point to which one has less? This one has less because it doesn't have as many, huh? Um, if I wanted to make them equal, I could do that. So um, let's count these and see how many I have. One, two, three, four. So if, want, if I wanted to make them equal, I could take off some of these. So look, these are equal. This one has four and this one has four, okay? Your math today is gonna be kind of like that. That's kind of what you're doing for math today. Um, and there's a puzzled penguin today if you want to do it. Um, all right, friends, that's all I have for you today. I am so excited to hear about your terrariums. Oh, that's what it's called when a snail, the snail's home is called a terrarium. So I am so excited to hear about your terrariums and I really hope that you get to do it with us because it'll be so much fun. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow.